much Borino with you on this lovely, oh, what are we in Wednesday? God, but look at this. Now they tell me, and correct me if I'm wrong, do the Navy SEALs train in that ocean they right do. there? That's what I heard, yeah. man. Oh, shout out to them, right? Big props to them. Wow. Yeah. This is a gorgeous place. We are in San Diego right now. I am hosting with my co-host, Nicole, the Lab Codes Agents Live. We're having a blast. We're on day two. Tons of content, tons of good information. But I ran into this champ, this awesome man, <laughs> who is no question the number one real estate coach down in Australia. Well, there's some good ones down there. But, but they call but, you the thunder from yeah. down under. Oh <laughs> God. You know what I mean? <laughs> Without the muscles. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I can see why, you know? Man, they're all gone. Um, yeah. I've been uh, I've been on a weight loss thing. Actually, if you'd have caught me literally a year ago, mm -hmm. I was 30 kilos heavier. So wow. what's it? 70 odd pounds heavier. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm getting closer to thunder, but I'm still a long good ways off. <laughs> anyway, you've had a extremely interesting engaging presentation and your topic was how to become a local celebrity agent who is recognized who gets a lot of inbound business who is recognized yeah. without spending a whole lot of money without working your ass off without doing the shady shenanigans mm, working your ass off still there that's still temporary there. okay right you what you go hard like an Olympian goes hard on their mm -hmm. gold medal right you go hard for a year or two hardcore where you're still listing and selling however you used to do it yeah you know with programs like yours where you're converting good expireds at a great mm -hmm. conversion rate and all of those tactics you need to keep doing those and on top of that, install these marketing systems and tactics to get that inbound stuff going in. Yeah. You can go hardcore and really do almost two full-time jobs. One, doing whatever you've used to do to get business, and then two, install a marketing system in your spare time. Yeah. Eventually, you won't have to do any prospecting. Because oh, 30 okay. people a month come to you saying, hey, Barino, mate, thanks so much for everything you do. I know how busy you are. Yeah. When can you come around? We're ready to sell. So, Glenn, you really have students who do experience it. You mentioned that story, Absolutely. which I really like. Get this. The store, what is it called down there? The big department or grocery oh, store? Oh, yeah, yeah. Woolworths or Coles. Woolworths. Okay. So, um, they'd be yeah, like Walmart, Walmart. or yeah. where agents go into the store and they get mobbed. They get recognized. Oh, you're that agent. Yep. You're that guy. One, my one of my guys, he never buys his frozen food, mm -hmm. right? Frozen veggies and all that from he goes shopping still in his local area but he goes there knowing he will come home with wow. business and he doesn't buy his frozen foods there because he made the mistake if he bought the frozen foods by the yeah. time he gets to the checkout melted so Lord. you <laughs> what a problem to have first world problems he has to get the home delivery on the frozen people, stuff <laughs> I would do that I wouldn't mind so people recognize you now is it something that is built is it architected absolutely. is it engineer absolutely so how would somebody with not a super huge budget or a big marketing staff behind them yep how do they orchestrate that? How, where do I start? What do I do? Yeah, okay. So, man, because this group has been so awesome, A, what I'm going to do is, however you would deploy this, I'm going to give you guys a gift. I'm about to go into detention. Okay. Because I have 45 minutes to chat to that group. I talked a lot about doing, implementing, and executing, which is, again, the question you're asking. Right. What do we do? And because I babble on a little bit too much, I went over. So I'm about to go into detention and record specifically for your crew here at the event a master class on what to do. Okay. So A, if you want the extended version, like the full album, yeah. then you'll find a way to deploy that to people who ask you for it and you'll have that at your cool. disposal, right? Seriously, you're, you're going to give it to my students, my rock Absolutely, stars? yeah, because you're a rock star to me, man, <laughs> you know? Um, so that gift will be there if you want the full album. But if you just want the greatest hits, mm -hmm. right? So like Pink Floyd's one of my favorite bands. All right. The whole back catalog, I'm going to give you that and you can watch that and you'll have that. Thing. But, wish you were but, here. But here's the, the greatest hits of All wish right. you were here comfortably numb and another brick in the wall, there right? There you go. Is, it is a formula that I took of everyone who is genuinely famous, mm -hmm. right? What do they have in common? And I reverse engineered that. Okay. So, you know, having spent a whole lot of time, years working and being in social interactions with and socializing with and mates, you know, they call me on my birthday. Yeah. I don't got a call because yeah. um, in my cell phone, I don't have Arnold Schwarzenegger's phone number. But I have the guy who is always next to him. His EA, the guy who uh -huh. literally, whenever you see a photo of Arnold Schwarzenegger publicly, the guy next to him, I can call him. Okay. Right? So, so I've been in business, because Arnold doesn't, you know, he's got Sylvester Stallone and maybe three other people on his right. cell phone. He doesn't make calls. But um, I got to observe what these people have in common, right? What are the commonalities that say to the consumer, oh, that's a famous person. Right, and I broke it down. You think about it. All of them, whether it's um, now here in the states, it might be Jillian Michaels or Trainer Bob. Now in Australia, we've got different Biggest Loser trainers, but right. in the personal training world, those figures are famous, right? I promise you that a Trainer Bob personal training session is not going to be seventy-five dollars like a generic mm -hmm. personal training mm -hmm. is, right? 
So this famous for Dr. Phil in, um, in psychiatry. In Australia, we've got a famous vet. Like he's a veterinary surgeon, fixes your dog. I can bet you, if you want the TV vet to fix Fido, it's gonna cost you more than your local vet, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I saw that these famous, the, the fame is the, because uh, the famous vet isn't necessarily gonna fix Fido any better or more competently. Mm. Perhaps he might even be less competent yeah. than a, some other specialist, you but know? But it's his status, his position. It's exactly. Mm. So why, if it's not skill, why is this guy worth so much more? Why is trainer Bob? He may not know the human anatomy for weight loss or whatever any more than your generalist counterpart, and yet he would get a five-figure sum for an hour, mm -hmm. and the other guy gets 75 bucks. So does it mean a real estate agent A, or real estate agent Bob, who has the status of a local celebrity, can get more business, can charge more, oh, control more 1, market? thousand percent. Just because of the status, not because of the skill or years yeah. of business. Is that, yeah. is that like, true? imagine, even now to a very tiny degree, I've been ever since I, because most of this crowd didn't know me, because I've never marketed here in the States. Right. I'm a, like, a, a secret that a few of these crazies found me in Australia. But now that I've done a little bit of a speech, they've seen that I'm the author of a book, mm -hmm. I've been positioned as somewhat of an authority, I suppose, by the organizers of this event, by yourself, right. by other people who are already iconic in their mind. Mm -hmm. The fact that you have endorsed me, the fact that you're business partner Nicole has endorsed me mm -hmm. and kind of you guys signed off on me right that that makes it safe for those audience members to embrace what I've got to offer mm -hmm. you did the vetting for them right right and now that that's occurred and they see that I'm the author they've seen the photos up on screen of me and Schwarzenegger me and Stallone Richard Branson in the offices of Gary Vaynerchuk screwing mm -hmm. around with Gary mm -hmm. whoever it might be wrestling with George St. Pierre the yeah. UFC legend that was a week and a half ago oh okay getting arm barred and who, who won? Out who won? Who won? Who do you think? Yeah, <laughs> uh, like he, I armbarred George St. Pierre, right? Uh -huh. But for you guys who know George St. Pierre, you don't armbar George St. Pierre. Right. He lets you put an armbar <laughs> on him. He could get out of it any time he wants, yeah. and yeah. you couldn't get it on him if he didn't want you to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but so all of those things, mm -hmm. I now to people I did not know 48 hours ago, and they did not know me. I can't walk up and down the corridor here yeah. without, I was on the way to come and chat to you and I wanted to come and hang Somebody with you, you, right? Four people just attack and stop and want to ask questions, which yeah. is what, that's exactly what we want. Yeah. So now, that absolutely will work for a real estate agent as well because if I have that position with them, uh -huh. imagine if I was a real estate agent and I duplicated the same phenomena. Okay. When they have that level of admiration for the expert celebrity specialist in whatever field mm -hmm. it is, price objections go away or at least are significantly re yeah. reduced. Imagine if Josh Altman, a friend of mine, he's spoken at my events, love Josh, right? He's, uh, he's just a great, great dude. Imagine you go in to do a listing presentation, you call out a, um, he's with uh, Douglas Elliman now, mm -hmm. changed that. Um, you call out a Douglas Elliman agent and you're a fan, you've watched six seasons of Million Dollar Listing, mm -hmm. you're a fan of Josh and you've just called out an agent, you don't know who it is and Josh Altman walks in to do the listing presentation. Instant credibility. Is he gonna have a different experience though? Are they gonna go, oh Josh, about that fee of yours. Yeah. You, that's gonna go away because they're gonna sit there, if Josh excuses himself to go to the toilet, the mum and the dad there are gonna say, can you believe it, that's yeah. Realistic with, that, and they would post it already. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So, so now, we that's have the a phenomena. Very large. Now you don't have to be Josh Altman right. to duplicate the phenomena and the feeling but at a local level. Question. Yeah. Let's say we have Bob. you guys we've talked about from Bob. Kansas City <laughs> yep. who says, I'm not on a million dollar listing on Bravo TV. Good. I'm not as good looking as Glenn here. You, you better uh, look at the this. <laughs> I am not a local celebrity. Yeah. What do, how do I do that? Well the first thing that, that every local celebrity, including Josh, uh, and he only did this after he came to my event and heard this, mm -hmm. so I don't know if I had anything to do with uh -huh. it, but I'm gonna go there, because after he left my event, guess what he did? He went home and published It's Your Move, his okay. book. Okay. Right? Because you name a celebrity, they're all published, mm. right? So, you know, a person in Kansas City, if you know enough to sell a house, to prepare a home for sale, to coach an owner through the process of selling a property, especially when the market hasn't been great. Right. You know enough to write a book on your area of expertise. Okay. So get that down on paper, write out your chapter headings, whatever they might be, preparing the home for sale, choosing an agent, how to avoid the dodgy ones, what to do, seven quick tips that you can do to blah, blah, blah. Put that stuff down in a book, right? Oh. And then publish that. Now, can you get Simon & Schuster or Penguin or whatever to publish 100 real estate agents books? Of course not. 
I had to become a publisher because no one would publish mm. 100 real estate books that are essentially the same, right. right? So I became a publisher. I went and bought the ISBN barcodes mm. and I went through that process. So if any of your guys want to publish, look, you pay for the printing, I'll do the rest for you, right? Okay. Right? So. That's well, the, uh, if you're curious, we definitely post more information. Yeah, and there'll be no the charge video. for that, guys. I won't charge you a dime, out. right? Like, I'll do it for free. I'm, I'm, I'm a Gary Vee student. I mm -hmm. give until it hurts, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I'll publish you guys, no problem. Um, and so they're now a published author. Okay. That book in printing might cost them three bucks to print. Now, instead of business cards, they can say, and here's your script that you might give. You ask me for a business card, I might say, um, oh, Brina, mate, I'm so sorry. My, I'm so busy. My team won't let me print them because mm. we're so busy helping people. I mean, you probably see it on social. We're, we're just really bad. But what I'd love to do for you is, look, I'm pretty excited about it. We've just been published, and here's my book. And um, now my mum said I'm never allowed to give out a book without signing it. And look, I'm a bit chuffed. So you've got to humor me and let me sign it for you. So, hey, Burrito, you're a star. Love you, love you, love you, Glenn Twiddle. I give you the book. Now, I also say, now my team won't let me do business cards. I'm so sorry. but. If you have a look at the back here, see that website? That's my private mm. VIP website. If you go to that website and click a button, it's a one push button that'll dial my private cell phone. Mm -hmm. This phone here will ring. Mm -hmm. So you can get me even, so this is your business card. So just keep that on the bookshelf or whatever. So there's one tool they can implement for $3 a book mm -hmm. that will not end up in the, like if we're in an event here and like I collect business cards, right? I got it. Why do I do that? Because I'm a marketer. I now have full contact details of a whole bunch of agents, right? Of all of the hundred business cards that these people gave these to, I'm the one that kept them. No one else did. All the rest, they're in the ashtray, right? But what would you do when you've got a signed book with your name on it? Hey, Barino, thanks, 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 love, love, love. That's keeper. going home. That's a keeper. That's yeah. going home. Mm -hmm. And that is no less a sales document than those business cards or a flyer or a brochure. The only difference is this one costs a bit more, yeah. but it lives on the bookshelf. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then years from now, they go, what's that guy we met? Uh, oh, his book's on the shelf. Yeah. Your marketing stays. Yeah. That ain't going to last for years in yeah. the bookshelf. Right. You know? right. So that, that's one thing is get published. Yeah. You know? And there's probably five things we've talked about. You're really prominent on your social media. Mm -hmm. Having a social media that is video fuel. Mm -hmm. You emulate what the celebs do. Yeah. So I mean, you're watching us on video right now. It's exactly right. Yeah. Why would I, other than I get to, to hang with someone that when I've seen his stuff online, I get to hang out with that, right? Mm -hmm. If I didn't know you and I didn't know your reputation, which mm -hmm. is rock solid mm -hmm. here, if I didn't know that and I saw a camera and you said, hey Glenn, can I grab a few minutes of your time? Be hell yeah. yeah. Because when there's a video recording, you're going to show it somewhere. So some bugger who's never seen Glenn Twiddle mm -hmm. is now going to have seen Glenn Twiddle. Yeah. So be, you know, I use the term a media tart uh -huh. and, um, and some people in the audience corrected me with another word yeah. equally is, as valid. Oh no, we don't. We, we can use it here. PG, this right? is Maureen. Oh, come yeah, on. So, but, um, but yeah. He met whore. He doesn't want to say it. That's so, it. you I'm know, I'll nice. throw it yeah. out there. But I am. Look, I'm a media whore. And there's good. a cameraman. Yeah. Absolutely. We, and celebrities are media whore. Well, that's yeah. the thing. I was going to say we had a celebrity influencer doing a presentation earlier. She had a two full-time camera crew following her around wherever she goes. Absolutely. Constantly. Yeah. So that's the status you're gonna elevate through these tools. The best part is something like a video, it's free. Yeah. You have a smartphone, shoot a little video, post it, crank those suckers out. Yeah. Printing a book, like you said, oh. three, four dollars? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. where do they get more info? Because Glenn knows what he's talking about. Clearly he's built some celebrities and some real estate agents to some pretty high standards. Yeah, right? man, oh, it's crazy. That last event we had, outside of the Million Dollar Listing Stars, so I had a big event in Australia, the Million Dollar Agent Summit. I dragged in, I called in a few favors from my mates. So I called in Josh Altman and Luis Ortiz from Million Dollar Listing mm -hmm. New York. So that was wonderful. Outside of those Million Dollar Listing stars though, who I get no credit for other than their pals of mine, mm -hmm. um, every one of the speakers, the entire lineup, and it looked like the Expendables, right? All yeah, these yeah. legends. Every one of them was at a million dollars GCI or more. Mm -hmm. And people were asking me, how the hell did you get that lineup together? And I just kind of, they're my clients. I just begged. Yeah. yeah. They're all people that I've done for. So I didn't get a bill from any of them. Mm -hmm. No one charged me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because they're just giving back to the bloke that in their mind gave them the status in the yeah. first place. Now, I don't even think I deserve the credit. Yeah. I just maybe opened some doors for them and showed them some ideas. They're the ones that did the work. Yeah. You know, so they get all the credit, you know. But yeah, the, the trail of million dollar earners that, that sort of surrounds me. I'm just honored to somehow be yeah. the, the, the idiot at the epicenter, you know? One thing I noticed about Glenn, and we've been interacting since this morning, and I really clicked with his energy, as you can see, we have a lot in common, we have a good time doing this, and really sharing and teaching you guys, is give a lot. 
Definitely. Here is a guy who is willing to open and share and teach and give and give and give. And I know some of it is from Gary and other teachers and it's not really new. But to watch him do it in real time, right now, giving you these nuggets, giving this information, without any huge pitch. Yes, you want to get hold of him, he exacts things that you can buy and sign up for and be part of. Yeah, but, but I'm going to make sure that they get the first couple, like the, the module you would, you're going to yeah. get. I'm about to go record it now. It would have a price tag with any other coach on it sure. of a significant amount. But I figure there's so much to do in that couple of year marathon where you're really putting together this yeah. marketing system. Yeah. There's a lot to do. So I've got plenty that I can sell for after I do the first few bits for you for free. Yeah. You go make some money. You go get a few ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollar checks with this information that I just give to you. Do you think, heaven forbid, next time I'm speaking in Florida, you might jump on a plane and come see me when I put thirty grand in your pocket for nothing, you might pay a thousand bucks to jump on a plane to come hang out. Sure. You know what I mean? So there's a very real financial motive to being, it looks like I'm being self-serving, uh, being selfless by giving, giving, giving. Believe me, my clients, now we don't have a tipping culture in Australia, we don't tip. It's not because Aussies are buggers or anything. It's just culturally not what we do. We pay a little bit more for meals because the tip is built in, right? And the waiter is getting paid 30 bucks an hour, not four bucks an hour right. and then he lives off the tips, right? Yeah. So given our culture doesn't tip, my clients collectively, having paid me hundreds of thousands of dollars, tipped me in a culture that doesn't tip. A thirty thousand dollar Harley Davidson. I saw the picture. Just, it's a kick ass bike. Just, I'm a biker. Yeah. And so when they did that I was crying yeah. and because that what that said to me is I'm doing it right. That means I delivered far more value to that collective group of only 20 agents. They chipped in thousands of dollars just to say thanks to me. That shows me I'm doing it right. Yeah. But it also shows me there's a financial reward out, you know, on top of money, but as well a money yeah. reward for doing this. You know, yeah. so guys, when you give to your communities, when you give out books, when you do events where you don't charge your consumers to put on events of Avengers Infinity War, and you, on all you do, you don't get up the front and do a listing presentation before Thanos takes the screen. You get up there and you just give and you just thank them and say, hey, you guys as a community, you allow us to have a business serving you. This is the tiniest of things we can do to give back to you. So thank you, enjoy the movie. I have already seen it, so there will be no spoilers, <laughs> but you're gonna love it. Strap in, let's go to the Avengers. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. That's it, That's it. you just give. Yeah. And all you got out of that is your face in front of two or 300 of your constituents, of yeah. your people, and they feel like they now owe you one because they took their kids to see Iron Man. Do and there thing. is no big pitch behind it. There is no no pitch at there all. No, nothing. Yeah. no pitch at all. Fantastic. The only follow up is just thanking them for coming. Yeah. Right. They get to hear your voice in a cool way again. You know. They get to they get to say when they hang up the phone they go wow I was expecting a hard sell and I didn't get it. You know there's value when they expect the hard sell and you don't do it. Yeah, sure. When you guys are doing an interview like this you expect me to pitch something and then I say no no and he even tried to pitch. No, 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 you're getting it for nothing and you'll like it getting it for free. I won't take your money until, you know, that's the way to go, yeah. man. It pays off. And it will. It pays off. I could sit here for another hour, <laughs> chat with Glenn Twiddle, and it would be tons of more good content. We'll probably do something again. We'll I'd be bring him on Rockstars and do an interview there. I'm sure it. you guys would like to ask questions. I would be just curious, what is the difference between our US and Canadian real estate and stuff the way you do down in Australia? But that's for the next time. Yeah, let's get into that. So for now, a call to action, a big call to action with a big payday for Glenn. Find that free thing that I'm gonna do for Bruno. We'll and, get uh, it to you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, spend another hour, two hours, whatever I knock down out there um, and get some of these principles of exactly what to do to answer that question of yours, how do we implement? Do we do that's that? the key. Fantastic. Implementation's everything. Glenn, my good sir. Thank Always you, bud. Appreciate it. it. That was really good, You're in good it? hands, guys. Thank You're you. in freaking good hands. <laughs> Post some comments, let me know how you like this interview and we'll set you up with the information that Glenn is recording for you. Thanks for watching you guys. Appreciate it very much. From San Diego. Coach yeah, Bolino, let's go for a swim with the Navy, Navy SEALs out there. Oh, I'm so in. <laughs> See I'll you talk guys. to you soon. Bye. <laughs> That was good, man.